What is up, Royal Gamers? Welcome back to Ottoman Empire Part 2. Uh, there's an explanation why I didn't upload a video or even stream yesterday, actually, since I usually do upload a video normally now. And I do stream mostly every Tuesday and also Fridays as well, if you guys didn't know. But uh, <laughs> it was because of work, actually. I mean, everyone knows that I just started my new job at UPS. And let me tell you something. Uh, it is a very, a very physically demanding job. I wasn't expecting that. I mean, of course I was supposed to expect it. You have to lift at least, you know, more than 60, 70 pounds or more by yourself, by the way. I mean, you can get a buddy, but again, mostly by yourself. And I'm not that physical at all, you know. I'm about 140, 145 pounds around there, you know. I'm not a strong dude like most of the people or most of the employees there. Some of them have been already working there for years, but again, this is my first start. And so, you know, while I started on Monday, actually, which was my first, no, was it Monday? Uh, no, Tuesday, which yesterday actually was the first time I started actually normally. And uh, <laughs> I was doing loading. I want to explain everything, but I was doing loading for a bit and small sorting packages. And by small sorting packages, I mean opening and dumping mesh bags full of your goods and consumer items yes dumping into uh i guess belts or whatnot or scanners so that people can scan the packages but those mesh bags the material of the mesh of the mesh bags i wasn't expecting for those bags to rip through my gloves that i bought for 15 bucks and to eat up my skin after work was done, which ended around 9 a.m. actually, I took off my gloves, looked at my fingers, and my skin was completely gone off my fingers. Two of my, uh, no, four of my fingers actually. And so I was like, what the heck? What is this? What happened? And I, I was already guessing that it was definitely the mesh bags, not the 60, 70 pound boxes from loading but it was definitely the mesh bags and materials that are that they are made of. I wasn't expecting that, but I mean, I was feeling the pain a bit, you know, towards the middle of the day. I shouldn't say middle of the day since, you know, it's still morning around there. 7 a.m., I guess you could say. But the skin from my fingers were completely ripped off, gone, and it was exposed. And so, you know, again, I couldn't use any force or any pressure on, otherwise it'll start hurting pretty bad and it's pretty gross looking so you know i'm glad that i'm not showing you guys on stream but right now it's currently healing i i even called the day off today as well and they said okay i went to the pharmacist and told them look at this what happened they thought it was a chemical burn it's not a chemical burn it was from mesh bags since i had to open over a hundred no not even a hundred hundreds maybe dozens of mesh bags and some of the zippers were missing as well so that didn't help at all and uh, yeah my skin from four of my fingers are completely gone uh, but they're healing right now I use some some cream what was it neosporin that's what it's called yeah I'm using that I'll go back to work starting tomorrow again which I'm actually pumped up about again for some reason I don't know why but I'm looking forward to working again not doing that though I really don't want to touch those mesh bags again I guess my skin was too sensitive for that hey that's my uh you know mother's jeans right there but anyways enough of that guys uh here we are again uh Ottoman Empire part two I took out Syrian part one sorry that I had to explain all of that but you know that's why I didn't stream or upload a video yesterday which I normally do but in this part I'll be taking out Lo Lebanon I was about to say Lebanon <laughs> sound weird Lebanon and Jordan probably looks like Israel is at war with both of them yes it is okay I'm just gonna have to wait for supplies though to reach the borders of a uh, Jordan Israel is broke so I really don't have to worry about them Jordan and Lebanon bo both have money still so yeah I'll be taking them out first we got an offer by Somalia here And if you guys, uh, just let you guys know, it's kind of tricky to, uh, click, actually, on my mouse. Just 
because again, you know, some of the skin is gone. <laughs> so I'm not trying to, you know, put too much pressure on there. Hopefully I don't have to lift 70 or 100 pound boxes. I, that, is that even possible? I mean, it is possible if you're, you know, buff or anything or everything, but I'm not buff, okay? I'm not a machine, just let you know. Oh, wow, we got all these air units here. All right, let me just repair all these air units. The UAE, what you want? Nope, thanks. I try to be more careful though, next time. Because those mesh bags, man, I wasn't expecting that. All right, oh, Cypress now as well, no thanks. All right, so let's see. Wait, did Egypt declare war on Israel now? It looks like it. Nah, they were already at war, I think. All right, I've got enough units, I think, to take out Lebanon first. I think that's what I want to do. Uh, yeah, let me do Lebanon first. I don't want to border Saudi Arabia yet. All right, declare war on Lebanon. Here we go, guys. Who needs repairs? Ah, I see. God dang it. Ah, you're good. Alright. Well. Oh, actually, nah. The world doesn't hate me yet. Maybe if I declare war on one more nation, then, you know, it'll start going down. And so far, I'm good with the world. I might still get offers from most of the nations. Why are we backing out? What the heck is going on, guys? It's a September facility. Piece of cake. And then we got this village here. I really don't want to deal with that village actually at all. At some point. All right, looks like we're attacking. Well, not yet. But let's go from the north attack to Beirut from there. Attack Beirut from there as well. I mean, I should take Seda out. It's bothering me. Speaking of which, again, uh, actually not again, but I forgot to point out earlier during this video. Today is the fifth year anniversary of an world gaming. You know, that's much more important than. You know, losing my my skin off my fingers. <laughs> Sorry, it sounds gross, but still, uh, fifth year anniversary at Overworld, at Overworld Gaming is today. I started commentating and doing let's plays for Supreme Lord 2020, starting with Russia Conquest back in April 5th of 2012, I think. Today's the, the fifth, right? Yes, the fifth. And here we are, 2017, five years later, still doing it. New Let's Play, Ottoman Empire, growing strong, over a thousand subscribers, over 100 followers on Twitch, and I couldn't ask for anything else, guys, but thank you all for subscribing, watching my videos and streams, supporting and donating, and all of the above. It means a lot, guys. Hopefully, I can get 2,000 subscribers by the end of the year, and, you know, Edible Gaming will become, as I've said, something big in the YouTube community in 2018 and also on Twitch as well. That way I could also meet you guys in gaming events like E3, TwitchCon, PAX, etc, etc. So that is my goal right there. And also start, you know, a brand for, you know, t-shirts. Uh, what else is important? Stickers. The stickers didn't work out well. They didn't look too good when they rendered. But yeah, stickers. Heck, even mugs and socks if I can. Beanies as well. So... I'm trying to do that and of course cross promotion with a bunch of gaming companies RTS based of course so yep fifth year anniversary and that means I'm doing a giveaway I forgot to point that out but I am doing a giveaway for three games actually they're all Supreme Ruler by the way Supreme Ruler 2020 Gold which is what I'm playing right now Supreme Ruler Cold War and Supreme Ruler 1936 again three Supreme Ruler games that I'm giving away for my fifth year anniversary of a world gaming i couldn't thank you know i mean i wish but again that's kind of impossible at the moment you know i want to thank and shake everyone's hands you know take pictures with you guys 
But again, that'll the time will come when I do that again, hopefully next year. So three games for the fifth year anniversary of Rebel Gaming. And all you guys have to do is just leave a comment on this video. And that is all. I was trying to listen to the, uh, you know, the sound effect. <laughs> But uh, yeah, just leave a comment, a random comment below in the description, yeah, in the comment below, I was about to say description, but in the comment section, I should say, that way you'll be entered into the contest, and I'll be announcing the winners probably next week on Twitch, or on YouTube, who knows. Alrighty then, so Lebanon is eliminated by the way, I want to repair all these units first. And then I'll get started on Jordan here, which again are at war with Israel as well. They still have about $5 billion in the treasury, so they're still good. DEFCON 1. Alright, so looks like they're repairing. Alright, here we go. Let's end this. And then next Wednesday, uh, it won't be any RTS-based video, actually. Uh, it'll be Weeb Wednesdays, as I'm calling it now. For next Wednesday, actually. I'll be playing anime-based games for Wednesday now. Not today, of course. You guys are watching this video right now. But, you know, again, next Wednesday will be the start of Weeb Wednesdays playing anime-based games only. Only for Wednesdays. <laughs> That is something that I've wanted to do for a long time on this channel since, again, I've become and grown a fan of anime slash manga, J-pop, whatever you want to call it. So, I'm actually pretty excited about that. I'm still playing that Sunrider Academy game, which is very addicting. Holy crap. Check the stats here. Uh, I got 47 years losses. But again, Jordan has... A better military here than Lebanon here. Here, here. I just had it here like twice. Dang it, my fingers, man. Let's try to go around. Or not. Actually, we just pushed in. Never mind. They get to keep all those tanks too. They've got Challenger 1s and whatnot. Sweet. Thanks, Jordan. I appreciate it. So where's the capital city? Oh, I thought that was the capital city. No, that's a fabrication there. King Abdullah. We're almost there though. I've taken out Jordan plenty of times. Oh, we got them surrounded here. Irbid. I want to keep those units. Look, they got a bunch of M113s. So guys, let us take the fabrication and take Amon. No, we do not. We're going to keep those reinforcements for ourselves. Alright guys, you guys can come over here. There's a nuclear factory right there as well, and I want, which, correct me if I'm wrong, is the only nuclear factory in the Middle East? I'm not sure. Well, Israel has some, I think, but right there, Jordan has one in Mahat Al-Hafif. Again, you can correct me if I'm wrong, but it's right in my face, so I had to point that out. Oh boy, oh jeez. It looks like their units are fleeing the vicinity. Okay, you know what? We're just gonna have to take it. Screw it. It's blocking their path anyway. What's that? Oh. Alright, we're gonna push down now. And a bunch of these units need repairs now. What are those units that need repairs? The most important ones. Oh, there they are. Come on, we got like six minutes left. This video. I don't want it to be 20 minutes at all. There we go. There we go. Alright, that's our car, and Amon is still there. Jeez, man. <sighs> Again, it's one of those capital cities where it's completely surrounded and very heavily defended, and I hate that crap. They still got, you know, again, Kuwaisima and Assault. But again, my goal is just to take Amman. I don't want to deal with the neighboring cities and towns. 
the hell with that. Let us end this together, Harapo gamers, together. While the repair some units real quick. La di da. Go! Allied under attack. Moscow has declared war in Ukraine. Don't need to worry about that. Tomorrow I'll be uploading a superpower video, by the way. Germany. That's who I'll be playing as. And then Friday. There we go. There goes Jordan. Anyway, superpower for tomorrow and then Friday. It'll be Homeworld, actually. I forgot to do that. That's right. I did promise to do Homeworld next. Whoops. Well, Homeworld will be for Friday. Superpower will be for tomorrow. So that is the schedule for this, uh, yeah, this week. And I'll be streaming normally again Friday as well. Well, Jordan is limited again. Since Israel was at war with Jordan, they took the southern portion of uh, Jordan. And it looks like Saudi Arabia is engaging against Israel. So what I got to do is declare war on Israel next. So that way, Saudi Arabia doesn't disconnect me from basically mainland Africa. Since I have to take some of the northern African nations. Bring back the glory of, autumn, of the Ottoman Empire, basically. But again, hope you guys enjoyed it. Again, remember to join the contest for my fifth year anniversary at Overall Gaming. I'm giving away three copies of Supreme Ruler 2020, Cold War, and 1936. As always, Overall Gamers, subscribe, like, and I'll see you guys next time. Hopefully, I don't destroy my fingers when I do start working again. Don't